Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and in this video we're going to look at how to shoot using Raycast with Fishnet Multiplayer. So as always I have the basic networking setup already done, I'm not going to go through that again. On the screen I also have some health text just to display the health of the player, it's going to be easier for us to see the effect of it. All this is is just a text mesh pro component with, well, just the text. I also have a very basic world with just some spawn coins, so nothing special so far. I also have the player prefab set up. This is what I've used in many previous tutorials as well. So if you need it, go look at how to work with multiplayer in Unity, my seven minute tutorial. And uh, I'm just using the exact same player controller script from here and nothing else has changed. One thing that is however important is that to be able to actually raycast properly onto the player, we need to make sure that the body and the visor of him doesn't have uh, any colliders for it to hit. We need to make sure that it only hits the uh, player, the actual player object, where who, that's going to hold all the components on. So first, let's start by setting up a script for the health of the player. So I'm just going to do player health, right. just so I know what it is. And I'm going to attach this script to our player object. Now, if we enter this script, I'm just going to set up a very quick synchronization script. The only thing that we're really going to be needing is we're going to be needing to be using fishnet.object.synchronization. Synchronize. There we go. And we need to set up a sync var for the health. If you don't know about sync vars, go look at my tutorial on synchronizing in Unity using fishnet. That will make you understand much easier. I'm just going to do a public int health and we're just going to set that by standard or default 10. Then we also just want a reference using Text Mesh Pro actually to the health text. And I'm just gonna call this health text. Now in a start function, I'm gonna make sure that it grabs the health text. And the way that we can do this is just by giving the health text a tag. So if I go and find the health text here, you can see I've just given it the tag of health text. So I can just say health text equals to game object dot find game object with tag and the tag is health text and then we can say get component and we want to get the text mesh pro UGUI component like so and now we just want to keep this updated normally you would probably not do this as an update loop but since this is not what the troll is about I'm just going to do this so first of all we're just going to instead of how I've been doing it before with uh, oh sorry we also need to be using fishnet.object this is how we can check if we are the owner of the object and the script, of course, needs to be in the book page. Well, now we can check if we are the owner. And right now we're saying if we're not the owner, we just don't want to do anything in here. Now, as I've done in previous trials, I typically disable the scripts if I don't need them. But because we need the health to be synchronized across all players, we actually always want the, the script to be enabled for everyone. And now we can just do health text dot text equals to health dot to string. Like so, and now we're displaying the health text. Obviously, all of this is mainly just very basic Unity stuff uh, and also the sync bar, which I'm not going to get too much into synchronization since I have a video focused on that already. Now, all of that is good. Now, let's go and add the shooting script. So, let's just do something called player shoot and let's add the script to our player as well. And let's open up the player shoot script. Now the player shoot script also needs to be using uh, fishnet dot object, and we need to make it a network behavior script. Now we're going to do the same uh, setup, but first of all we need some variables. So we want to know exactly how much do we damage, and we also need to know what the time should be between firing. I'm just going to call that time between fire. And then we're just going to have a float, which is a fire timer. This is just to make sure that we obviously can't fire with unlimited speed. Again, I'm not going to get too much into this part, because making a timer is very basic. And then again, we're just going to check that we are not the owner. So if we're not the owner, we just don't do anything in the update loop. We just leave it. And if we are the owner, we can do input.get button, which means if we're holding down this button, which is fire one, this is from the basic Unity input system. And if our fire timer is less than or equals to zero, we will be able to fire. So we will do some firing in here. Uh, and we will also be resetting the fire timer. So the fire timer equals to time three fire. And then all the way out of this loop, we can just do if fire timer is greater than 
zero. We wanna do via timer y is equal to time dot time to make sure it counts down properly. Now let's set up some sort of shoot functionality. Now the thing that's a little bit different here is we want to shoot from the server. So I'm gonna set up a server RPC and as I pretty much always do, um, I'm just gonna set require ownership false because in this case it doesn't matter. It probably wouldn't change anything if I didn't add it, but I just always like to make sure. And let's just call this one shoot server. And now we want some things in here. So first of all, we want to know the damage that we want to hit to the opponent. And we also need a vector 3 for the position of the raycast and we need a vector 3 for the direction of the cast. So we do an if statement with a physics.raycast and this is from the position in the direction and we're going to output to a new raycast hit. Now we're just going to call hit. Now another thing we also want in here is we want to make sure that we can get the player health guide script from the uh, person we're shooting or from the player that we're shooting. So what we can do is now we can actually already access the hit that we just made here and go directly to uh, instead of using get component we can use try get component because we can use this for more so we can output the player health guide and we can call this one enemy health for now. So now we'll raycast and if we can get the component that is the player health guide we can now reference that as enemy health. So what we just need to do now is we can actually just write enemy health that health and we can withdraw the damage here so the fact there we go well, the last thing that we need to do is just we need to call the shirt shoot server method with the damage that we have and then let's just shoot from the camera that main that transform the position in my case and the and the direction is going to be the camera dot main dot transform dot forward so and now let's go and build the game and test it out So now we can see the health of both players and now as I shoot this guy you can see the health count down by 2 on the inspector view. Then we go to the uh, unity side and I'm just going to shoot a couple of times and go on to him and you can see he's also taking damage. So now the damage actually works perfectly fine. Obviously we have no death condition or anything alike but the shooting of ray casting actually works. I hope this was helpful to you. If so, please do leave a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments as well. And a like and a subscribe is always much appreciated. And I just hope that you have a wonderful day.